what happens if you want to send out email templates depending on the language of your uh, customer. Not the language of the user, but the language of your customer. As you can see here, uh, I have a setup that says, well, the currency locale or the locale in, uh, in general uh, is uh, DE. DE means German, so I would like to send, I would like to send out a German email to my customer. So what I have here is an overview of mails, and by accident, I have created already an email and I've translated it into German. So this is the German email. Uh, for this email, I want to make sure that when uh, the system actually sees that my customer is German, that it selects the German email instead of the general email. So what I have now is actually two emails, one called lightning killer quote and lightning killer quote underscore DE. So actually these are linked together, they belong together, but only this one will be selected if I indicate that my customer is German speaking. Okay, let's take a look. Um, first of all, I need to ensure that, uh, that, my, uh, com uh, yeah, that my setup here, my component here, knows about this, uh, this language. So that's what I need to change. Uh, edit page. Um, in my actionable, I do not have to change anything because it will start from this uh, email template and then look for uh, email templates with the same language. So I'm going to select my component here. Uh, I know the API name of this field. I know it by heart, so I'm just going to paste it over here. Uh, make sure to put it in the place where it says the locale, uh, not in the alternative. An alternative is for selecting an alternative on the document. Here I want to select the language, so that's why I put it in this locale field. Uh, as you can see, this can be any type of field. For now, it's a uh, custom field uh, that's on the opportunity. It can be a formula field. It can be any type of field, a uh, pick list, whatever you want to choose. So I put my field here, and now I save my quote. Uh, sorry, save my uh, changes in the uh, overview. And when I would test, the system would automatically know, PDF Butter would automatically know that my customer is in German and that I would like to receive a German email. Okay, let's take a look. The email has already been sent and it's already come to my inbox. And indeed, as you can see, it's now the German email. Everything is nicely in German as I would expect it. So, the only thing that you need to do is to make sure that you have email templates that have the same basis of the name, but then the languages can be added uh, with an underscore. So underscore DE would add a German email, underscore FR would add a French email, and so on and so on. Of course, you can set up any language that you want by yourself. And as you can see from the setup here, it would actually take the language from the locale that is set directly. Uh, you can do also the full locale. So if you create an email template that actually has the name DE underscore DE, so it will look for the, this exact locale, means that it will search for the language of German in Germany. So you can have different email templates depending on if it's German in Belgium, German in uh, Austria, uh, or German in Germany. So this would have actually German in Germany directly set up. If I save this one, it will first look for an exact match on the locale, so German in Germany. And when it doesn't find it, it will search only for the language. So this would work exactly the same. So if I send something out, it will search for this exact match and then find the right template for German in Germany. The mail has already been sent. Let's take a look in my inbox. And yes, a second email has arrived. And the second email is uh, also in German, as you can see. So uh, both emails, uh, yeah, you can really now play with that, play with that locales, play with those languages, and uh, make sure all your emails are correctly set up and are in the language of the customer as you would expect it.